and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast brought to you by the last man standing with loserpool.com. As ever, I'm your host, Harry Simeon. On today's short video, we're going to be reflecting on last night's UEFA Champions League final. Can you see the smile on my face? And can you blame me? Thank the Lord that Tottenham are not the European champions. Can you imagine how long they'd have been going on about this for? Can you imagine the celebrations in North London? I mean, I was driving uh, down to watch the game with some friends and my dad and brothers, etc. And just driving down the A10, every single car was Spurs fans. Some of them were blaring glory, glory Tottenham Hotspur out of their stereos. Get life. You ain't won the thing yet. Calm the fuck down. You ain't won anything for years. What makes you so sure that you were going to win this? Now, the game, of course, um, had a controversial start. I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, Liverpool were awarded a penalty inside a minute for a handball by Sissoko and the ball did appear to sort of strike him here before hitting his arm so I've got a little bit of sympathy for him but this handball thing in the Champions League has been an issue all season we've all known that UEFA are taking a harder stance on it uh, you know as the rule stands at the moment and this is the International Football Association's uh, rule on handballs it says Handling the ball involves a deliberate act of a player making contact with the ball with the hand or arm. The following must be considered the movement of the hand towards the ball, not the ball towards the hand. The distance between the opponent and the ball and the position of the hand does not necessarily mean that there is an offence. So that's the International Football Association Board's definition of a handball. However, this season, head of UEFA referees Robert Rossetti told The Times in January that when VAR was introduced into this season's Champions League, officials would penalise any unnatural arm movement that makes contact with the ball. And and we've seen that enforced throughout this season's competition. We saw Manchester United get a penalty against PSG, uh, you know, where the player returned his back, but his arm was deemed to be in an unnatural position. And so it was awarded. We saw Danny Rose give away a penalty against Manchester City in the quarterfinal again. Probably wasn't deliberate, but his arm was in an unnatural position. And that is what UEFA have directed their referees to look at in this year's competition. So whilst you could think it was a harsh decision, and it probably was, you also have to acknowledge that at least, at the very, very least, UEFA have been consistent in enforcing this rule or, you know, directive, whatever you want to call it. As for the game itself, it was an awful spectacle. I don't remember seeing a Champions League final where both sides played such a poor level of football. I mean, it was slow. It was boring. There were hardly any chances. There was no creativity. There was no intensity. It felt like one of those pre-season games in, in the Far East. That's what it felt like to me anyway. It was just a rubbish game, a rubbish game to watch. Of course, the result was great for us. I'm not complaining about that. But in terms of a spectacle, when you get together with your mates and your friends and you know, and your family, and you're looking forward to enjoying what should be the biggest game in the European football calendar. To see such a disappointing game is, you know, a bit of a letdown. No question about that. And just finally, I want to cover off the point where, you know, lots of Arsenal fans are having a go at each other on social media and others are having a go at us and Spurs fans are having a go at us saying that, you know, how sad we've become by the fact that we're celebrating a Tottenham defeat. It's not joy with me. It's relief. And those are two very, very different feelings. It feels like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. It feels as though I can now look forward to the new season. I can enjoy football again. Whereas had Spurs won that, it would have sucked a lot of the enjoyment out of football for me for a long, long time. Because we'd have been hearing about this for decades. Decades. So to those of you who say that we shouldn't be enjoying a Spurs defeat... Um, and, you know, having a go and saying we should be worrying about our own team's problems. You're absolutely right in the sense that we should be focusing on our own team. It is about, you know, Arsenal getting better. That is our main concern. We are Arsenal supporters at the end of the day. But we should enjoy the relief that has come with Liverpool lifting their sixth European trophy. Because, you know, the the reverse, what could have happened would have been a lot, lot worse. And And like I say... Let's enjoy it. We'll banter them like they bantered us on Wednesday. But it is more relief than joy. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There's some brilliant content that's gone out over the last few days in reaction to the Europa League final. Uh, a tribute to Jose Antonio Reyes yesterday, uh, just an hour or so after I found out about the news, uh, which I'm still devastated about and can't believe just can't get my head around it but like i said hit subscribe hit that little bell sign as well to get a notification each time we upload smash the like button and leave us a comment it is much appreciated and we'll be back with some more content coming to you in the next week or so take care guys come on you scousers